If you're at all concerned about your bone density and osteoporosis, I've got some osteoporosis causes and tips that your doctor didn't tell you. Okay, did you know that leptin resistance is very much linked to osteoporosis and low bone density? And leptin resistance actually blocks something called osteocalcin. And what osteocalcin does, it's produced by the osteoblasts in the bones. It helps to bind that calcium and other minerals to go into the bone, plus your vitamin K for that proper bone density. When we look at osteocalcin, it is very interesting because it's also linked back to our pancreas and of course our insulin secretion and our beta cell proliferation. It's linked to our fat cells and we know that leptin is also secreted by our fat cells. That osteocalcin helps to increase the insulin sensitivity in the fat cells as well as decreasing fat mass. Now we can see here that that osteocalcin being blocked by that leptin resistance is going to decrease that ability to actually mobilize and oxidize our fat, as well as increasing our insulin sensitivity in our muscles. That's another attribute of that osteocalcin. Remember, that's gonna be blocked with leptin resistance. It also helps with our neurotransmitter production in the brain and helps with our testosterone levels as well in both men and women. So if we're blocking that osteocalcin, this is where we can have a dip in our testosterone levels and this will affect libido and of course other things as well. So my tip here of course coming back to the osteoporosis and having strong bones and teeth is to fix your leptin resistance. Now if you don't know what that is if you need some more help in this regard please check out my video five tips to fix leptin resistance. You're going to learn a lot there.